All right, and we've got one last Ignite for you, our own volunteer, Sean, and then it'll be open space time. Hi, I'm Sean Wutong. Uh, I do ops at Kasasa, and I just want to make really clear that this is me and not the uh, volunteer talking, so give me just a second here. All right, so I'm gonna apologize for the sweat. Um, I posted the slides to this uh, just before Amanda came up and as I was on the way to the car to get my fine dog shirt, uh, they told me, hey, they're announcing that you're coming up in a second. So I sprinted back and forth, which is kind of appropriate to the topic that I decided to talk about. It's fine. Uh, the tire fire that we face every day and uh, the only tool that I could come up with to help you with it. Um, so I'm gonna digress a little here. You probably missed the part uh, where formerly I was a busboy at Rio Grande Mexican restaurant. Uh, so I moved to Colorado in 2008, uh, ostensibly to go to school at Colorado State University for linguistics. And um, they had some floods just before I moved up and a great portion of the library got damaged and the linguistics department, the people who I was interested in studying with left. So I get there and I uh, don't really have all that much to do, uh, but I have family members in town over a restaurant. So I ended up working there. It was great. It was fine. Uh, that's relevant to what we're doing now tangentially uh, because my last job before Kasasa I went there to work with a development team and a manager who uh, shortly after I got there pretty much all decided that it was time for them to leave. So I'm not quite sure if this is a pattern that I'm going to see repeating itself throughout my life <laughs> where I say, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to make a jump this time. I don't know. Some of you might remember I gave a talk about working at the city of Austin and, you know, doing GovOps there. And that was pretty sweet. I really enjoyed that job. But um, I got convinced, you know, yeah, jump, come with us. And everybody, you know, kind of ran away as the trust exercise failed there. <laughs> <laughs> Reminded me, you know, ah, this has happened to me before. The, the head injury from it happening when I was like 10 probably affects, you know, why people run away when they see me coming. Like, <laughs> uh, but yeah, the tire fire that we face every day is pretty interesting. Like, and you know, walking into W2O and, and seeing what was going on there was a lot of fun um, in that I didn't really have a very good handle on the things that were going on there. I have a background more in Puppet and uh, they had chefs, so I ran in saying, uh, yeah, Doug, sure, I'll work with you because you're interesting people and I think I can learn this stuff fast enough. But it turns out I couldn't do the learning that I needed to do in the time that I had because everybody ran away from me. So that's something that I think a lot of people face um, when you're looking at trying to cross the borders in between groups in your organization. Uh, sometimes you feel like you wanna do something really great and you put yourself out there and you're like, all right, look at all this great automation that I did. And uh, guys, You know, nobody's there to catch you. Um, I love this image. <laughs> uh, and the truth of the matter is that if you just keep coming back, you know, to it and trying to reach out to people where they are, the next thing happens and you end up someplace you really like. I mean, I, I did really like my time at the Mexican restaurant. I learned a whole bunch of stuff that I still use in my job way more often than you would think. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of people can draw parallels between like delivery pipelines and uh, um, restaurant work. But so up here, there's a couple of URLs. Uh, Y'all load them up on your phone or whatever, but these are tools that you can use. Just go there when things are feeling kind of bad or like show them to a colleague when you want to express like, I'm kind of feeling like you're not there to catch me, man. Um, so I do accept pull requests for the sites they pull up at a, 
GitHub thing. JJ Ashgar has already uh, issued one. Uh, it doesn't have to be DNS for you, but it is. And uh, it's probably fine. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know about you guys, but I want to see a trust fall. <laughs> <laughs>